Hello, this is the uh, unboxing of the Tom DeLong to the Stars Academy uh, ES333 mini guitar that he just put out. Um, I got the first Fender Stratocaster one that he put out, ordered I think in July, and I got it in September. And at first I was not going to buy the Gibson version just because I was like, well, I got the other one already. But um, and that was kind of a disaster because what they were advertising was not correct. It was actually a Photoshop version of his actual signature Fender Stratocaster. People were not happy. Uh, so when this one came out, they actually advertised this one in the pictures. And I figured, well, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look great either, but might as well pair it up with the other one. So this will be the unboxing of it and just see how, uh, see how well the... Uh, attention to detail comes out on it but yeah so getting this open for you here take a look oh that's cool it actually has a matching gibson fender cardboard case the last strap did not have that it was advertised that it would but it did not have it so people were also kind of pissed off about that too so but there you see it, there you have it. We got the uh, Gibson casing right here. It's made out of cardboard. Uh, I like the detail on it, you can kind of see that. It looks nice and clean, look at the shine, wow. Um, so yeah, let's kind of dive in and see what we got here. Seems like it's pretty easy to open. That's already torn, well, that sucks. That's all right. Uh, let's see how easy, oh, easy, very easy to open. Um, but yeah, I'm excited, you know, just to see what it looks like and moment of truth, here we go. Oh, okay. Um, this one is not signed as the Stratocaster was signed. This one is not signed. Um, it does come with a little mini guitar case here. Um, kind of uh, flimsy up here, but I mean, it gets the job done. I have one from the last one that I got, but there's that, if you wanna see that. Uh, so let's kind of get this out of the way here and take a look at the guitar itself. All right, let's get this pulled out. Has a nice size to it. I love the way they package this stuff. You know, it's funny because these guitars now, if you try to buy this guitar um, anywhere else, um, they're very pricey. They're up to, like the real guitar, not this one, you know, the actual Gibson ES35. They're up to um, like $7,500 now. It's kind of ridiculous, but let's take a look at the headstock. Hopefully they got it right. Ooh, that's actually very clean. It's a very clean looking headstock from what I'm seeing here. I got it very well, so you can take a look at that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. A little closer. Not bad. Um, I hate that they strap them like this because I got a razor blade. Don't want to tear anything, but I think if I'm careful, I can get it done. Just playing it with fire here. Okay, we got that side open. I think it's good enough. Just about. Maybe one more. Yeah, let's put it up. This little mouse pad here to protect it. It's almost like a little guitar workstation. So, got one more little patch here. What are we at? There it is. Found it. Try not to nick the guitar because that would just be catastrophic. Okay, here we are. A little tight. Are we good in there? Have patience. Patience. It's about there. Come on. Come on. This about there it is. And we can tear those open now. Yep, and there she is, coming right on out. Ooh, all right, first impressions. Right off the bat, this looks a lot, a lot, a lot better than the first one that they put out. Um, the attention to detail on this is just amazing. I, I'm just bring it a little bit closer to the lights, kind of far away, there we are. But the attention to detail on this is just ridiculous. It's it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot better than the Fender Stratocaster. Um, has Tom DeLonge's digital signature on the back. I know it's not the best lighting here, but yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this. They actually did a fantastic job on this one. Um, I wasn't super disappointed with the Fender Strat, but this one here just, wow. This is, I wish I had the real version. But this is awesome. This actually came out really, really well. Um, here, I'm gonna move the phone. Actually, you can see that pretty well. Let's get a little bit better detail. It's get a little messy here. All right, close up. Let's get the razor out of the way. Yeah, 
the attention to detail on this thing is so much better than what the Fender Strat was. Just check that out. I'm actually really excited and stoked about this. This, this, this is actually a lot better than I anticipated. Um, well, there you have it. This is the uh, Axe Heaven uh, ES333 Tom DeLonge Signature Gibson guitar. So. Uh, first impression, I did an unboxing video on it. I was uh, impressed and I'm still impressed. I'm actually very impressed that they uh, kind of learned their lesson from the first take on the Fender Stratocaster they put out and just kind of learned from their mistakes, which was first and foremost, don't advertise a Photoshop version of the real guitar um, because people are gonna think that's what they're getting. When in reality, they got some terrible, not good looking or even close to the actual uh, Photoshop version that they were advertising in the mail. So uh, don't do that. But uh, this guitar, on the other hand, as I raise it up here, is actually a heck of a lot better than what that Fender Tom DeLonge signature Stratocaster was. I'm actually very impressed by the uh, attention to detail on this thing. If you look in the back here, it just looks good. Like everything about it, um, there's really nothing on it that is super off other than just like the uh, part of the bridge there is slightly not centered with the uh, racing stripe, but I still think that's very minimal. Uh, the paint on it is phenomenal. The racing stripe is very well centered. I'm actually just in love with this thing. I wish I could buy the real version, but you know, last time I checked, those, the real ones are going for like $7,500. It's crazy. Gibson, get back on it. Make another version of it. 2,000 bucks is a hell of a lot better than 7,500. Also Fender, let's get on that uh, Tom DeLonge uh, <laughs> signature Stratocaster again. It'd be great. Um, but yeah, just check out the headstock. The headstock just looks awesome. They actually got that nicely well cut right there. I'm not even sure if this even looks good. It looks like it does. Let's get a little closer. There you go. So, um, yeah, the back, if you look closely, you can see the Tom DeLong signature. There it is. Cover my face here, but that's all right. This is my first YouTube video, so uh, I don't really care to you too much. Uh, but yeah, no, seriously, look at this thing. This thing just looks great. Again, it was done very well. Um, I'm actually really happy, and uh, I'm probably going to put it in a display of some sort. With the last one, I did a... Um, an homage to what that Fender Stratocaster, like the era that he was playing it. Let me grab it real quick. I'll show what I did. It's awesome. What I did with the uh, Fender Stratocaster, I put it in the uh, in this little dis display right here. And I got a bunch of cool pictures from the era. And um, this was when they were doing the Mark, Tom and Travis show tour. And I had the live album, which is this one right here. And I just decided to take all the pictures that came with it and just kind of put it in here and make this the display. Um, as you can see, it looks awesome so i'm really happy with the way it turned out um but yeah so um there you have it if um you're looking to get one not sure if they're still selling them it, I, I'm probably, I can imagine they're probably gonna be on ebay going for like three four hundred bucks but this thing right here turned out a lot better than this one did and again not picky happy with the way this one turned out but i'm really impressed with this one here so um again if you like the video uh, click that like button, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Um, have a great day.